Hi friends, today is the July 22nd, 2022 collective daily reading um, and we're still working with the flame archetype uh, today on Friday um, and yeah, today is supposed to be a very happy day because um, the sun enters Leo and it could it could have been uh, a happy energy, but the but the cards that I pulled out, card after card after card, is um, some kind. There's a lot of worries and fearfulness in the collective today. So let's get right into it. With the fearful world and the birth um, Venus in Cancer, um, I felt that there. This is the energy of a mom to be or someone who's going to launch their project and feel a fearful thoughts um will this work will work will this be going off fine and how is it going to be uh yeah and i can understand the fearfulness at this time with all of the news and media um and even when after i pull out the tarot cards it's the same um first of all the mother of pentacles kind of um explained it and uh, with the birth card it's i think it's really people not just feminine but just those who try to launch their project this big worries happening will it work will it make money um with the five pentacles uh in reverse here it also can be that um you are worried but you're refusing to try to get help and try to manage everything by yourself even though it's probably overwhelming for some of you some of us because i'm also part of the collective and with the empress in um in reverse um it's also feel like a blockage in there's fear is kind of hindering of um, giving birth giving birth or producing more prolifically okay and so what is um how do we manage with this energy today first of all of course take a deep breath and five minutes of meditation is always wise but also there's this alchemical um, processes that we can do with this wise salt um, we can try to find out who are in our life that uh, we um, we regard it as the salt of our world you know someone who resonates and would help us and have the wisdom in this matter try to have them as a sounding board today okay uh, i will put it here i'll put it here and some some people are feel like passionate there's a lot of red here but somehow it's kind of blocked the passion and probably because of this fear this fear blocking the the passion yeah and let's have some more um, wisdom cards, if you will. What should we do in this situation? We have co-creation, Radius, Luna, Ulna, Tibia, and Fibula. The Emperor in reverse. And Death. So yeah, with the co-creation. With the co-creation and this uh, white salt. Maybe we can also ask the people, uh, like I said, that wise in our world, or also you can um, make like some creative project, um, taste the, the taste of salt, and what is salt meaning to you? What is um, the wisdom of the salt, you know? They give you extra flavor in your food, and um they helped in the winter time so if this today your worry in mind maybe you can journaling and think about how can the wisdom of salt how is the wisdom of the people around you can help you create okay 
with the emperor in reverse and death uh, card it's it's obvious it's probably something that that you held some some kind of a maybe it's some kind of a belief or some kind of things that you've been doing all the time and it's need uh, to be reversed you know uh, it's need to be let go um, but let go with grace not with immediately with the death card it's also clear that you see like there's so many reds there's so many reds in your in the reading today there's a lot of passion so from the blockage of the passion with the with the energy of letting go with the letting go with death um and transforming it we can basically we can help we can help this energy to uh to let go a little bit probably not in one go but at least it can help ease the feeling of these worries. Will these situations um, getting better? Will my child, if you're a mom to be, will my child will live in a happier world than me? All of this, all of these worries, um, too shall pass. Okay, and. Thank you for listening of today reading. If you like it and if it's resonate with you, please like and subscribe. And please do have a great Friday today. Uh, see you see you tomorrow. Bye.